What's up guys, and welcome back to One Shot. Last time, we arrived in the refuge, we explored the area, and at the end, we went to bed, and Nico had a lot of time to get some good rest, and we're seeing another dream right now, and this might be pretty incredible, because I assume that this right here is Nico's mom, she was mentioned before, and if we actually see some more, like, backstory, and world, yeah, introduction of Nico's own world, that's gonna be so adorable, Nico's getting some pancakes, and Nico, uh, oh my god, oh my god, what kind of beginning is that? That is by far the most adorable image we've seen so far. Nico, that was so nice, I love seeing more of Nico's history, Max. I had another dream, Mama was there, did you see her? Yes I did. She made me pancakes, I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes, I do. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Sure. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. Okay. Nico, calm down. That's crazy. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors make a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes, I do. I always say yes. Oh, do they share their food with you? Not exactly. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Does sound kind of incredible, you know? Living in a village where everybody knows each other. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I understand that, Nico. I hope we can, you know, end this soon. First of all, to save the world, but also that Nico can get back to the world. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Exactly, Nico. You read my mind. We both have our own worlds, but this world is getting more and more destroyed, so we have to hurry it up. And I remember that last time, I think we checked out all the areas, except for one. And that it wasn't even on purpose, that was kind of dumb of me. I just completely ignored that we missed an area here. I was so, like, interested in this clock person, I forgot about the creepy area down there, where the music changes. I don't know what to expect here. Let's hurry it up a little bit. Okay, up or right. I hate it when there are multiple paths. I never know where to go first. Is that a lock? That looks like a door. A heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Okay. Good to know. So there's something locked. And I assume we're gonna have to open it. Okay, that's just looping around. So let's go up more. Okay, we're back on the outside. We're still up. We're not on the surface yet. This is huge. This is like an entirely new area. Nico? Wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. Whoa, Nico, that's really far. Don't fall down. Oh, is this just a little moment to uh, appreciate it? Yeah, that was so cool. But let's keep going, Nico. I don't know what's gonna expect us here. Is this never ending? It's very different from my village. I hope this isn't like anything important and there's no way to go back because this seems very, very different than the rest. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. That's awesome to see. Such a whole new world for Nico. So I want Nico to take, you know, the time to appreciate all of this. What about you, Max? Where do you live? A city, a village, someplace else. Yeah, a city. A smaller city, though, like this. Just not that big. Wow. I can't imagine living in a city. Must be exciting. And kind of scary. The view is nice, though. 
Okay, I get it. This is like looping around. That's nice. Can we go all the way back? I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna get new dialogue. But now we should go back to the lock, right? It was just one big circle. That was nice. You know, a little just random moment like that. Talking to Nico because why not? I always love it if one shot does this. And... <sighs> okay. 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 We couldn't... We couldn't dodge it forever. We have to do it once more. The computer. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. What? Weird film. Whoa! Okay. I see... I see something darker in the middle, but like a, a lot of numbers, or is that just an illusion? And there are two like... Light pillars or something, lines shining through. Uh, computer, maybe a tip? Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? I mean... I'm not sure how many there are. I'm just gonna say yes, because I want to see what the tip is. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The four walls? Is it like a fourth wall? Or actual four walls? The edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again. So it's either, like, actually one of those glitches, one of those corruptions, or maybe I have to do something with my computer again, because that's usually how the puzzles work. I'm gonna quickly try to get another tip. I have some ideas. Maybe you have to, you know, take a screenshot, but I don't think... That that's really likely, you know, take a screenshot, and then the screenshot is gonna be different, so I'm gonna just try it. Do we really want the answer? Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you just here to waste more of my time? So it is some sort of, like, being. Like a creature inside the world, not just something that goes, like, just like a program or something. It is something that can get annoyed at us, too. So, okay, I don't want the answer necessarily. I'm gonna try to figure it out on my own. Alright, so one idea that I had was after I got that, maybe restart the game, but I just have to say I'm back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. I'm sorry, Nico. I said I never wanted to do this again, but I have to figure out this puzzle. Am I the only one who's seeing this? Alright, so uh, I tried a lot of things. I tried to resize the game window and maybe, you know, somewhere there's a hidden message, but nothing I actually do. A transparent sheet. Filled with numbers. I'm so sure that it's something about being transparent, but I don't know how it being transparent. Like, the only thing that I can think of is that it's actually a puzzle inside the world, and you have to hold it into light, and maybe then you see a secret message. But considering I can't do much more with the game window, or with this image that you see right now, and I try to interact with it with the mouse and stuff, you know, everything, I'm pretty much lost, so I think I will go to the computer, try to get the answer. Hopefully it doesn't just tell you, like, the answer, but, like, what you have to do to get the answer. So only the answer to the puzzle. Let's just see how it's gonna tell us. When you view the film, it fills your entire window into our world. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of the idea that I had. I believe you refer to the action I describe as dragging. The void is beyond our borders of your view. But wait, I tried that! Right? I tried it. I tried changing into full screen, resizing, which doesn't work. I tried dragging the game window around. Through the void and back. Through the void. Is that all you're gonna tell me? Do you really want the answer? Okay, that's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe I have to drag it somewhere else, but I don't think that's the case. I should be able to stay right here. And then what I guess I have to do is I have to get this, and then just drag the game window. Oh my god, guys, I'm freaking out. That is one of the coolest things ever. Okay, look at this, look at this. This is the game window. Look, I'm dragging it. Here it comes. And I moved it outside of my 
like of my main just desktop my my monitor pretty much if you move it outside it goes stark and that is how you can see it a secret message and now I'm gonna try like dragging it down and up and here it comes again and look at that I dragged it all the way down and now I guess that's the message right that's the entire message we need six three zero one four that is crazy I I thought it was something with dragging but I don't think I would have actually ever tried dragging it outside of the monitor all right I will go back to how to play one shot properly just combine everything with everything and see if anything helps you. So we have the scissors and I'm just gonna try to cut everything. Open. I, I can't cut the weird film of course because it's green. That means you can't combine it. Yeah, oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape just like arts and crafts. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we gonna connect it to the elevator? Let's find it out. Um, so we have the button. Can we do something with the magnets now? They don't stick to the aluminum. But what if I just fold the magnets under the edge? It's holding together barely. Okay. And now we need to get to the... We need to go to the... Where was it? I think it was up here? Yeah, yeah, it should be up here. Now we have to tape it together, and we did have something for that in this area. Not in the creepy area down there with the computer, but right there. Yeah, this. A tape dispenser, um, so, so like this, and then there. Yeah, of course, I gotta tape it together or it might fall apart. Good thinking, Max. And now we're done. Tape button. I guess that's it. We have a tape button. Oh, and maybe we need that code for the elevator. Maybe the elevator needs, like, an activation code. And by now, I'm, I'm pretty sure I forgot the number. 63014. Is that even right? I have no idea. But hey, dude, I got a button. Look at this craziness. Let's hope this works. Hey, it works. And the... Hello. Oh. Wait, was that a yes or a no? Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code. Okay, there we go. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, nah. <laughs> the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm... I guess we should go look for a code, Max. Don't worry, Nico. Input the security code. I hope that's right. 63014? I actually remembered right! I'm so proud of myself. Look at that, dude! We're the best! What? It works? I don't know what you did, but it actually works! Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Max, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Okay, is that everything we had to do? That did go pretty fast. We have the empty tube feather. We still have that seed up there, which we have to... Uh, like, we have to water it more or something. We have to keep doing something to it. But I think for now, I think it's safe to go use the elevator. Are we actually gonna get... Oh, hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? What? I immediately went here. You've been waiting this whole time. Oh! Oh, holding the door open! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I didn't want to be rude. How awkward! Uh, I'm sorry. I should have told you to go on ahead. Even though I wasn't gone for that long. I was just thinking. Don't worry about it. I hope we can still come back and the squares aren't gonna destroy the elevator for good this time. Oh! Oh, oh, this is awesome. Elevator music, dude. Oh, no. Awkward silence. No, Nico, say something. Please. Oh, thank God. Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God themselves. This is awkward. Maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. Oh, so... Is it literally the thoughts? Or is this person just thinking out loud? Really out loud? 
All right, Max, should I uh, ask about the job, ask about the city, the library, resume the... I... I am so conflicted because I want to find out more, but I want that. But maybe this is like saying I don't want to ask. So I'm gonna try one question and see what happens. And the thing that I would like to know the most about the job, the city, I guess the city because that's important here. The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded too. First there was the refugees from the barons, and now more Glen folks are moving in too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff that we just saw, we get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, Max, should I? Okay, so I think, yeah, yeah, you can ask everything, and then you can resume the awkward silence, which is basically just skipping it. But I want to know about his job. What do you do at your job? I, I assumed he was just a mechanic? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights mostly, yeah, okay. But now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories? It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Oh, we used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down? So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long, I can see that, look at that face. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea, it's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Alright, Max, should I? Uh, the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Max. And there we go. Instead of skipping it, so good. Always try to find out the most about the people. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico! Yeah, we didn't even, like, trade share names, right? Right, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. Oh! He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Max. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Immediately, there is a robot. Hello, can I talk? Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> oh my god, Nico! You're a pro at talking robot. <sighs> you alright? Ah, the messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Max. After all, Max helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. What a creepy guy. Alright, can I look out into the water? Is that like the water surrounding it? Or no, the water surrounded the glen. So this is, I guess, just random water inside the refuge. Beep boop, beep boop, awesome. And we can go back. Yeah, um, not automatically though. Can I close it again? Uh, should I go up? I hope this is not breaking it. If I just leave the door open, I'm just gonna leave it. Because I don't need to go. A street lamp. Are all of these street lamps? Okay. And I'm not seeing any doors. Those are just windows, right? Yeah. But we can go up there. I'm gonna go right first, I think. And then we can also go down. I will always, yeah, go the corridors to see how far it goes. Who are you? Evening news! Evening news! Are you here to purchase a copy? No? Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. Poor Nico. And I just noticed right there is an opening, a door. So I guess I'm gonna start on the right side. I'm gonna go down here first. Oh, that seems like a bigger area. If this is too big... Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Okay, okay. So this might be... Uh, like the main area where you have to do stuff and maybe solve puzzles. So I'm gonna go inside first. Oh, is that? Oh, I fished it. Yeah, that's nice. Can I buy something here? 
Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Fish Tank Head. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out the major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Is that all? That's kind of sad, just to hear that. And now I'm going to follow the completely not suspicious arrows. Oh no, never go into a dark alleyway, Nico. Something is gonna ha- <gasps> Whoa! Was that a cat, or...? A, a cat would be funny to meet another cat. Or like, cat-like creature. Oh god, Nico. Did you see what happened? Yeah, but not really. My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. And it was about a cat? Is it a vision or is it actually something connected to Nico? Because I guess Nico isn't a cat, but at the same time it is kind of a cat and I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go up here first. This is creepy. I see almost nothing. We have the sun and it's so dark. A bag full of trash and such a big area. How many different areas are there? Oh. Oh, 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 okay, so that's a new area. I'm not gonna go there yet. This is even more overwhelming than that hotel or like the apartments. I can go up here too. Is that the same area? What the hell? Is that the creature we saw? Is it more like a fox or maybe a dog? Yeah, it's a fox. Did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. Nico? Do we have anything? Equip the feather. To fight it off. Oh, that's awesome looking. I'm sorry if you're looking for me, okay? I mean, I cannot talk to you. I was about to say, holy moly, it's talking, but I mean, this is a magical world. It's not that crazy, I guess. Not now. Um. But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return. Please do. What do you mean by that? No reply. Is it maybe something connected to Nico's world? If, if that thing is actually talking to Nico, maybe return to Nico's own world? There's no one here. Oh, really? Find a way to return. Like, the only idea that I have is that it's something from Nico's own world. Okay, we don't need the feather. It wasn't any danger. That's weird. Or, oh, what is that? Is that a robot? Oh, n please do not approach. That is disturbing. That is actually terrible. So much for, you know, it only touches the infrastructure. If it touches something like a robot or a living being, that's just game over. Oh, what's this? That's cute. A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram? Um... Do we have anything to interact with the ram? Probably not. This is still... What is this, by the way? We still have it. Oh. Maybe we're gonna have to use it again. I don't have any ram yet, but I'm gonna keep that in mind. Huh? <laughs> Look at all those animals. It's strangely warm in the room. Hello. Oh. Is that a robot or just a machine? What? What is happening here? Ah, that's cute. It's actual cats. So I guess Nico really does not count as a cat in this world. Oh, a cat! Are you lost? No, Nico does count as a cat. Wait, what's happening? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes, but I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. Then what are you, though? You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people's eyes. Well, in your world, maybe. I guess that's it? Yeah, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. What? Oh, the ears. Oh, those aren't Nico's ears? I thought they're, like, poking out of the hat. But that's just the hat. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks. I'm not lost, though. I've got Max to guide me. 
I see. No, it's warm here. Yeah, I, I want Nico to cuddle up with the cats for a bit. This was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, it's a nice purpose. Uh, oh, sleepy! Yes, Nico! Do you wish to rest? No, Nico, I want you to rest. I want you to rest. Where did you find all your cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here now. Ah. It's good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area stationed all by themselves. I felt kind of bad. With robots, it is alright. We are not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, you talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Is this robot tamed? But if you're tamed, does that mean you can feel loneliness? Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. Okay, you have been here for a while. Are you sure you do not wish to stay? You know the robot knows me. I want Nico to cuddle up there. I'm good, thanks for offering though. Ah, uh, come on Nico, why not? One of... Not one of your people, but something similar to you, I guess at least. Would be fun. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's actually something you can pick up. That's just a random room that I went in. Glass jar, a big book, understanding robots. Red glowing fluid. I guess that's the only important thing. A big plastic disc. They're supposed to go in something. Can you pick them up? Are we really gonna take this with us? They look so heavy. All right. Oh, wow. They're actually pretty light, okay. Where are they? Wait, thick lens? Oh! Oh my god! Oh, look at... What the heck? That's gonna be a crazy pattern. Uh, not pattern, a puzzle, isn't it? Um, maybe we can do something already? Probably not, though. And the weird film is still the same as ever. Okay, now we can explore more, though. A lantern plant. A note attached. Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. <laughs> okay. And a framed photo of someone. Alright. Okay, I think this is actually the only way we have to go up top, and then afterwards we can go down below. And this seems like another, yeah, alley like that. Hey there. Oh, you're, oh, you're the guy, hello. You, uh, doing okay? Yup. What are you doing? Fixing a light? Yeah. Filling this lamp. Oh, okay. It's taking a while. I think it might be leaking. Wait, is it? Can you see it? Okay, so you can see him filling it up, but nothing's happening. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. He looks busy. You can tell, huh? Can I give you something? No, I don't think so. Keep doing what you're doing. You're making the world a better place. Are you a coffee person? What? I don't get this world. A toaster person? Is this even a real world? Like, this, this feels just weird. Hey, kid. Want some soup dumplings? Ah, oh, soup. They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Hey kid, okay, that's the same. And this is just toast, like bread or something? This smells kinda nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Oh, I, okay. Really, Nico? That's rude, maybe it, it still tastes good. Okay, that's another door. Who are you? Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Um... That's awkward. Who are you? That's... Uh, something red. Maybe candy? Sugar? Yeah, okay, burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. Okay. They don't taste too bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay, thank you. Aren't you hungry, Nico? After such a long time? And that's just water? Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Yeah! Okay, so... I have invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Why don't you take a free sample? Thanks? Go spread the word! Wait, wait, water pill? But, 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 can I do this? I need water now, can I get water? 
Oh, I exaggerated. The effects wear out. Okay. It wears off in like a week. But all you have to do is just take another pill. I need water now, though. Or maybe, no, I can't just put the pill into the water. Because I already have the water. Okay, okay, okay. Um. What is this here? You know what? I think I'm gonna immediately go back. I'm gonna immediately go back. Put that pill into our plant thing. Or first, I'm gonna go into here. Oh, is that a generator? Oops! No, no, no. Okay, I thought I, like, I caused an entire blackout for the entire city. That would have been awful. But, oh wait, there are some numbers. Oh! Maybe the discs? Ah, uh, this is gonna be a puzzle, right? And then... Whoa! I guess that wasn't the right combination. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Do I need something else? Oh, wait, is it this, maybe? If I look at... Yeah, yeah, this could be it. This could have something to do with this. Um, let's see, a thin... So, I guess we're gonna start with... Uh, no, wait. Thick one is gonna be the first one. And then the thin one is gonna be the last one. And then, I mean... Curved inward and outward. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna try it. Maybe we're, we're extremely lucky. No, okay. Can I leave them here? I can! That's super useful. I hope they don't, they're not gonna despawn. I'm just gonna leave them here. Uh, we might find a tip somewhere before we have to do that puzzle. But yeah, like I said, that's all. pretty much all there was for the top part. Now we can go back to the elevator, go to maze, to the maze seedling, and add that pill. Oh, nice. Is there only gonna be an animation? Or the entire ride? Ba -ba -da -bum. Nico, how are you doing? No, come on, Nico. No awkward silence. You can talk to me. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> Nico, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, my God. Nico's cool. You know, I like Nico. Nico's a cool cat thing. Whatever Nico is. Wait, do I have to go up? Yeah, I think that's the right way. And then past the robot, if I remember right. And then just to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I hope that's still gonna work. We're just gonna dump the pill into it. And that should be, like... Inside water, right? Unless it dried up. Oh, no. Did it dry up? Yeah, did it dry water? Okay, now we can just put in the water pail. What? No? Just put it in. Wait, Nico, am I missing something? I'm gonna try to combine it with something. I uh, know. But I don't think that makes any sense. I guess one thing that I can try is maybe get back water. All right, can I just talk to the guy? Good luck with the seed. Filled with plant clippings, a watering can. It's a sink, um, empty tube. Oh, oh, oh my God, I love myself for thinking of this. Put the pill in the water. It dissolved really fast. Medicated water. Okay, now we can hopefully save maize and actually grow maize to a complete plant or plant spirit later on. This is gonna be the moment of truth. We just have to select the medicated water. Good thinking, Max. This water should really help the seed grow. Is it gonna be immediate? It already sprouted a tiny leaf. And is that it? Good luck, little plant. Oh, I hope this is gonna come back. Like, at the end of the game or like maybe in a few uh, moments, just... I'm gonna try one thing because games sometimes do that. But I don't think it's gonna work. But if you go away and then go back... Is it gonna be changed? No, okay. This is going to help so many people. And also make me rich and famous and cool. Yeah, okay. You know, it is an amazing invention, if that's legit. And apparently it immediately helped our little plant. So I can't complain. You are an amazing water person. Oh? Is this gonna lead to somewhere important? I mean, it has to, right? The music. I love the little subtle music changes when you get to somewhere new. Oh my god. Oh, this is just a bridge, and this is a huge building. I never know if I want to, like, go somewhere first. Oh, or go into the building first. Maybe a secret? This is weird. 
I guess this just loops around, okay. I'm gonna try to go in here because it seems like it's not gonna lead in. Wow. Okay, this is odd. Like who... Who would ever expect a room like this? I guess something is not activated? Weird film? Just on a random idea? Okay. So maybe this has something to do with that glass shard or like disc puzzle that we couldn't solve yet? I'm just gonna keep going. Where will this lead? All the way down? I can unlock this door. Which one is it? Oh, I never went here. Is it a shortcut to the other area, to down below again? No way. It is, isn't it? This is cool, it is a shortcut. Okay, I love it right now. Now we can go right, and then I think we actually explored every single area. And we need to somehow figure out that disc puzzle. Hello, robot. Hello, person. <laughs> the library is up ahead. Thanks, I'm sure we're gonna find a hint in the library. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Well, I mean, technically, the world is ending right now and slowly fading away. If we're not able to stop it, I hope we are eventually. But even though so many people say that it's not exactly possible, but we will see. We're gonna, we're gonna hold on to that hope. And we're gonna go inside the library. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is relaxing. Hello there. Is that a librarian? Or just a reader? What? Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. Stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Yo, look, look at this. Look at this person. Okay. This is the messiah. The one who's gonna save the world. Treat us with a little respect, please. Or... I mean, we're not gonna destroy the world, but still. Hello, do you need directions? Let's see, uh, this area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry, Nico is not a child. I'm not really looking for books. Are you here to look for the author? The author! We heard about that before. That's good. I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Is that it? I can't go here? Let me, let me in, dude. <laughs> What's this? Off, right? It's currently off, thank god. Thank god, can I sit in here? Nico, please sit in here. Books are neatly placed, no, no, sit, no, fine. Books are neatly placed, okay, we can't sit on any cushions, but that's fine. So I guess the next, I guess the next thing we need to do is solve the puzzle, and then eventually find the author. Hello, robots. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. And still scared of ladders, I can understand that. Reshelving in progress, okay. Um, still a computer off? Yes, we're lucky. Nothing here. And up there, possibly more characters to talk to. That's just a desk, a desk. That's a glasses person. I mean, this design of these people is crazy. The author is so cool! I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine! Oh, we heard about that person before, in the Glen! That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow! Okay, so now I really want to find the author. And can we get a book here? Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them all- I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. How come? Because otherwise, they'll think I copied him, the author? Yeah. I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just gonna write about the same thing, and then everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. 
but it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time, Nico! Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. I guess it's sort of comparable, in a way. And mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Okay, that was a random conversation, but I like it. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kinda different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Okay, and we can pick that up. Wait, is that... That has that... That leaf, that amber, that uh, the clover inside. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Oh my god. Phosphor Shrimp? Uh, Transparent Coat? Okay, The Barons? And the common firefly in the glen, I guess, yeah? Oh, can I... Wait, can I just... Is that all? Okay, I guess that's not important. It could be that there's a... A hint here, but I'm just gonna keep it. Oh wait, there are more books that are shining. What do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Okay, and then the last person... Or no, wait, there's some... There's like... That's a TV! Is that a TV reading a book on the left side? The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time. No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. Alright, and now the TV or computer. You're going through the pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures, a picture book. The author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! And what is that, a plant? A little plant. Okay, now let's read the other book. The computer is off? Yeah? A big book, okay. To phosphors. A general rule, if it loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. Uh, but it, it is possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But it will never return to the original brightness. Oh! Oh god! Do I have to read that? Uh, phosphorus, phosphorus, level of energy. Shrimp? Self-conserving? If using phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a baseline level of activity. I don't think that has anything to do with our puzzles. And then we have green phosphor in the glen. Okay, okay, impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use. Thankfully, at least locals of the glen still have enough to get by. And then red phosphor, which is all around us, of course. As soon as it recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. And if using power as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that, re that can replace it frequently. Okay. Okay, this library is gigantic, much bigger than I thought. Excuse me? Oh, you are the messiah! Welcome! When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody! Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh, okay, I thought call over. But it's just per phone. Waiting. Waiting. No? No one's gonna pick up? Hello? This is awkward. <laughs> oh no, Nico, this is more awkward than the elevator. She's not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She's in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls. For several days. Yikes! 
Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming, okay. Then can I go myself? Of course! The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Okay, we're gonna talk to this person real quick. Anything else here? A computer which is off, okay. What's up? I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs, um... But I have to stay awake. I need to find out how the book ends. Curse the author and the beautiful cliffhangers. Great. And to the left, a coffee machine. Coffee cups. Coffee is for grown-ups, okay. And we can't do anything. But I think I might end it here. I don't think we're... Oh! Unauthorized entry? We need a library card. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question. No, no. Seriously. Can I just leave? Nico. Nico, just go. Leave the robot be. Leave, please. Are we gonna get... No? Okay. <laughs> Nico! Just sneak in! Sneak in while George is being called. Nico! Do it! Do it! Please! She's not picking up, I figured. Can you just let me through? Nah, against the programming. What? Even in an emergency? It's not flexible. I have not been tamed. Fine. So, uh, can we talk again? You don't give out library cards, huh? I only handle book transactions. For those who already possess the cards... No! 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 Don't! Run away! Run away, Nico! Holy moly! Okay, so... Uh, we can't do anything here. Um, we already checked everything here. So the only thing that I still have left in mind is that we need to do something with that... with those discs? And we have to solve that puzzle. But I'm not sure when the next time is gonna be when we get one of those beds. So I think I'm just gonna go there, you know, and next time we're gonna try to solve the puzzle. Maybe explore the world more, maybe there's gonna be something that we missed. Because this is a huge world, it's definitely possible that I missed like one little area somewhere. But okay, I guess this is a good place to stop it. We might be able to finish this area next time, but we will see. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. And until next time, take care.